All right. Hey guys. So thanks for hopping on our power planning session tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to make sure everyone's muted here on a, like on arrival, you're all going to come into the meeting muted because it just makes it so much easier and, and less background noise. But at any time if you have a question or you want to say something, just like wave and get my attention and I can unmute you. So tonight we're going to dive into our five, four, three, two, one for the upcoming week. And I know there's a lot of power planning sessions throughout the week, but I, this is my favorite, not only because it's our team, but because it sets us up for the week. So a lot of what I'm going to talk about is specifically leading into the entire week. But before we hit the ground running, I want to make sure you have a pen and paper, most likely a second device, uh, whether you're near your computer or your phone or something, you can use extra because we'll, we'll be doing that as we work. Uh, make sure you have your 54321, whichever version you use in front of you. And there's just a couple of notes I want to hit really quick before we start this, just like some kind of some housekeeping. The free shipping ends tonight. So make sure if you've been talking to anyone about that, that you, you know, jot their name down right now so that when we get off of the Zoom, you can follow up with them because you don't want to miss out on the free shipping code if that's something that they're using. Um, Tuesday of this week is an auto ship. We'll talk about that a little bit more in our planning, obviously, but I want to make sure I throw that out. I also want to throw out that you are, we're at the halfway point for the month. I mean, I know not technically gets us the 13th, but you're basically at the halfway point for the month. So um, for those of you that have been setting goals for your volume, see where you are, see where you need to be, have a little coming to Jesus with yourself, maybe talk to your upline if you need to. Um, I know that my goal, I'm low, so I've got a lot of work to do. Um, so just, just know that no matter where you are, you're only halfway through. It's not over. It's not done. You still have time. And then for those of you that are specific to my downline, to the Dream Team downline, I want to remind you that this Tuesday night, we have our local. It is a pink out. So please come wearing pink, carrying pink, I don't know, pink in your hair, whatever the heck you want to do, pink somehow. Um, it's going to be a super special local, you guys. One of our very own team members who was diagnosed with breast cancer a year ago, who is now breast cancer free, is coming to speak. And I'll share this with you guys. Through her doctor's approval, she thrived the entire time she went through treatment. And she swears to this day, that's what got her out of bed half the time. So I'm so excited just for her to share her story, but especially, you know, that to me is amazing. So um, that's just kind of a little housekeeping before we get started. All right, so what we're gonna do is our five, four, three, two, one. You guys all know how to do your 54321. So what I'm going to do throughout this time as we're walking it through is give you some tips and tricks, give you some ideas. A lot of this is whatever rolls off my head or whatever I thought to put down first because um, I don't feel like we have to babysit each other. I don't need to say to you, write out five reach outs. I want to talk about reach outs, okay? So when you're looking at your 54321 or your calendar or whatever it is, before we kick off into the actual line items, I want you to go through and look. What are you doing Monday? What are you doing Tuesday? What you, if you're on my team, I just told you Tuesday we're having a local. Make sure that's on your 54321. Um, if you have some sort of team event, I know I've been challenging a lot of the people on my team to host their own events. There's a lot of stuff coming up for us in the last two weeks. Put your events on there. Obviously, if you're hosting it, you're probably not going to forget about it, but have it on your schedule. Let it be the thing in front of you because as you're going about your week and you're doing some reach outs, it's a great little reminder Oh, I should, you know, talk to Sally Sue about our local that we're having this week, that kind of stuff. So make sure you have that all planned out in front of you. I'm a huge fan of the I am's. I want to put a little twist on it this week. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm going to assume that you all have your, your typical I am's that you're using all the time. But what I want you to focus on right now, I'm going to give you a couple minutes to do it. I want you to come up with three I am's that are just this week. What, is, what are three I am's that you're gonna do just this week? So for example, um, I am hosting an amazing local. I am creating 20 new Facebook friends a day. Like these are just my I am's for this week, okay? So heads down, think of three I am's for your week. And again, like I said, if you're behind on your goals for the month, for your volume, for your rank, for your bonus, Think of these I am's, you know, maybe, maybe my first thought would have been, I'm going to create five new Facebook friends. Well, you know, triple that stuff, like up your numbers, like really think about what you can do this week and focus on three things.
All right, you guys can keep writing, but I'm gonna start moving ahead. So as always, when it comes to your 54321, these sheets, checklists, how, whichever version you use, the real goal of this is that no matter what's going on with your business, maybe it's in the tanker or maybe it's flying high, no matter what's going on, if you are focused on your 54321, everything else will come into line, right? So like if I'm helping someone on three-way calls and I'm trying to work up a team promo and that's all fun and that's great, but if I'm letting my reach outs go, then my business is gonna start sinking slowly but surely. So that's the whole purpose of this 54321. So when you see it says reach out and it says five people and you see it says follow-ups and it says four people, right? This is what I want you to start thinking about tonight. You can start writing in names. You can start writing in ideas. You can start uh, making little notes on your sheet. When it comes to reach outs, there's a few things that we always talk about. This week, especially today, tonight, tomorrow, auto ship is this week. If you have anybody who is going to get an auto ship on the 15th, you absolutely 110% need to contact them tonight or tomorrow. Check in with them. What can you do to help them make their experience better? You know, maybe they've been buying chocolate lifestyle mix all this time. Maybe it's time for them to try strawberry. Maybe you've got um, $10 in credits that you wanna help them with their auto ship because they've been such a great auto ship person, right? Reach out to these people and check in with them. If you have ever had an auto ship or auto fulfillment, whatever fancy term a company wants to use that you forgot about, that came out on your card and you were like, dang, I wish someone would have reminded me, that's you. You're the person that, they, that needs to remind them. Um, yeah, you run the risk of them saying, no, I'm good, I have plenty. You guys, that's not a closed door. That's an open conversation. Why do they have plenty? Why are they not running out? Are they not taking something correctly? Are they not feeling well? Are they not getting the results that they want? Do they not like the flavor? If somebody tells you they don't want to reorder or need to reorder, that's the time to start the conversation. Don't just put your tail between your legs and be like, oh, I knew I shouldn't have contacted her. No, this is, these are your customers. I've said this before and I'll say it again. There are no spare customers. You've got to take care of your customers. If for some reason your customer isn't reordering, you need to find out why, because you got to help them. If they, you know, if the conversation finally, you know, goes down to they absolutely don't like it, then okay, now you know, you can move on. But this is the time to reach out and talk to people. Um, anybody that has a birthday this week, they better be on your reach out. And you guys, I want to just say my two cents on birthday reach outs. Regardless of how you treat them, regardless of what wording you use, please, for the love of Pete, be genuine. If you have not talked to this person ever on Facebook, say so. I can't believe I've never had it. I can't believe I've never messaged you on Facebook before, but I just thought it's going to be your birthday. Like acknowledge it. Don't just slide into their DMs like you're super cool, right? Be a human talking to a human because you can smell a rat a mile away when somebody slides into your DMs and they start sweet talking to you about your birthday or they start sweet talking to you about this, that, or the other, you know. So just be genuine. Reach out to these people, keep them. I mean, the whole purpose of this is keeping the algorithm, keeping the connection with people, but be super genuine when you do so. Um, any past conversations that you've had? So for me, what that means is I go through my, um, all of my old 54321 sheets and I try to see who was I talking to that maybe the conversation fell, you know, fell off the, the face of the earth or who was I talking to that was going to follow back up with me about something, but they didn't. If you keep notes like that or go through your messenger or your text messages, however you, however you keep track of this stuff, use those again for reach outs and follow ups this week. Um, and then you guys, you have a cloud office in that cloud office. If you go to customers, that's every single person that's ever created an account with you. If you haven't contacted those people in the last six months, three months, one month, what are you doing? You've got their email, you know, and again, it doesn't have to be that you're contacting them about Thrive, but you need to stay in front of them as the human that they know who they gave the email to, who set up the account. Um, so those are just, those are like the four main things that I always think about when I, you know, cause I'm just like you, sometimes I sit down and I'm like, who, who am I going to talk to today? I don't even know who to talk to today, right? Well, for sure we get the bonus of the auto ships this week. Somebody's always having a birthday. You've always had past conversations to follow up with and you have an entire list of customers in that cloud office. Even if you're brand new and you only have five people in there, follow up with them, ask them how their weekend was, right? Monday's a great day to ask people what they did for the weekend. Um, all right, so 
as I was talking, hopefully you're thinking, hopefully you're looking at who's got a birthday coming up. If you guys don't know how to do that for sure, just go to Facebook, go to the calendar. It'll tell you all the birthdays that are coming up soon. Um, and you know, some people will contact people a day before their birthday. Some people will contact people a day after their birthday. However you want to do it, like I said, just be genuine about it. Um, past conversations. All right. So think about all of that. Start, you know, as I'm talking, if you have like your phone next to you or your, your tablet or whatever, go ahead and start going through your customer accounts. I want for sure before we get off of here tonight, so I'm going to give you a couple minutes. I want you to for sure have five names in for Monday and five names in for Tuesday of people you're going to contact. It could be a follow-up. It could be a reach out, but let's do that right now. I'm going to give you a few minutes. Pull out your phone, pull out whatever. Maybe it's your old 54321 sheets, but I want you to write down 10 names, five for Monday and five for Tuesday of who you're going to reach out to. All right, so if you're just hopping on, we're writing down five names for Monday and five names for Tuesday that we're going to be reaching out to, whether it's a reach out or follow up. We're thinking about auto ships, we're thinking about birthdays, past conversations, and then anybody that's ever created a customer account with you that you haven't talked to in a while. All right, while you guys are writing, I'm going to keep talking for the sake of time. We try to get this in 30 minutes, so I want to keep moving here. Um, I was contacted today by a leader from a different team. We had had some conversations in Jamaica, and she just wanted to ask, she asked me my opinion or if I had a trick or a promo or something that I did to help auto ships happen. So if you look at qualifications for trips, you need auto ship, like a, a particular number of auto ship orders, not only from customers, but also from promoters. Um, if you're looking at auto bonuses, if you're looking at the auto bonus elite, you're looking at auto ship profiles that are actually happening. So let me explain. There's two different things with auto ships. One is the very first time somebody places an order as a customer, you want them to order on auto ship, right? That's when they set up their auto ship profile. It's the following month when that auto ship profile triggers automatically that that is considered an auto ship towards like the elite auto bonus. Does that make sense? There's a difference between your initial auto ship and the actual auto ship profile activating itself again. When it comes to customers, a customer places an order as an auto ship, it's gonna run that day. Their, their today's order is gonna run that day. The auto ship profile will be created. As a promoter, you or any promoters on your team can go in right now and say, hey Lavelle, I wanna set up an auto ship for, for October 15th. All right, so there's two different things we're gonna talk about when it comes to auto ships and basically customer service that came from this conversation today. First and foremost, every single person who places an order with me as a customer gets a thank you card from me. I don't care if it's their eighth auto ship order and it's my mom down the street, right? They get a thank you card from me. This goes back to the pure basics of customer service. All it takes is two seconds. I've got a little box of cards here. I got them at like the Hobby Lobby. It's nothing special. It's just a little, it's a note card. You guys have all seen note cards. One of my favorite things to do is to put a blast inside. And I just say, it's such a blast being your promoter. Or I've had such a blast getting to know you through Thrive. Whatever the heck it is, I try to play with the word blast. 
blast will fit inside the card it will mail with just a regular stamp easy peasy i spent i don't know how long pinning notes a couple of days ago sending out at least two dfts of breast cancer awareness to all of my customers some of them i had to even put in the note i know you don't currently take i know you don't currently use a dft but i couldn't let this special occasion pass without sending you these super one of a kind you know whatever the wording was that i came up with some of them i said this is going to look larger than the one you use um, some of them i've sent the the pink label if i knew they use white or black you guys it doesn't really matter it's not to sound like my mom but it's the thought that counts the fact that you sit down and you write a note you say thank you you send them something sweet i basically let everyone know that i mailed the dfts to that this is something that we as a company do every year we're going to crush the million dollar mark this year and i just wanted them to have a sample that they could wear loud and proud and show the world their support for breast cancer awareness um that took a note card two little dfts and a regular stamp it took longer to write the note and probably drop it off at the post office than it did, you know, effort wise to get anything else. These are small little things that go a long, long way. So if it was someone who has an auto ship with me, I even said, I'm so appreciative of your, of your repeat business. Um, you know, and that's why I wanted to share this with you. Um, you know, and again, I just try to, I don't really have a script when I talk to people. I just think of who it is why this is something I want to give them, why I'm, you know, why I'm mailing it to them. But if you're a customer and you feel like I ordered from her, I never hear from her. I see she gets to go on these trips. I see she gets to drive this car, but she never calls me about anything. You're probably eventually going to stop ordering, right? So something as simple as reminding people that I really truly do appreciate them. I appreciate their business. I hope they're feeling well. Um, you know, and again, you got to keep notes on things. Maybe it's, I know last month we switched to chocolate. I wanted to know this month if you wanted to try strawberry. Try, um, you know, little, it's the little things, right? It's the little things. So something like glass, a cafe would fit in here quite nicely and still mail. Um, you know, if you want to get really fancy with people, I used to send out some of the birthday cake bars, which are never in stock now, but that was always something nice. It did take a little more postage, but it's a super simple thing that in my mind, not only keeps me connected to my customer, but when it's time for their auto ship to run, they're a lot less likely to tell me no, right? Because I've kept up with them. So that's how I suggest you work with customers to to seal the deal on an auto ship with them a repetitive auto ship with them you got to be the person who says hey the auto ship's coming out in a couple of days here's what you ordered last time are you know are you happy with it what changes do we need that kind of stuff be the customer service rep that you would want someone to be to you now when it comes to your team your actual promoters on your team and you're trying to get auto ship orders from your team members you guys they're promoters they don't have to auto ship right so you got to sweeten the deal. First and foremost, Lavelle has totally sweetened the deal with the concept lab. I mean, I make sure I have an auto ship all the time now because I want whatever they're sending out. Even if it's maybe something I'm not sure about, I want it because it's new and I want to have my hands on it, right? So that's already happening, but for some people that may not be enough. So what I like to do is I will throw out a promo that says, you know, for everyone who has an auto, like for example, for everyone who's going to run an auto ship on October 15th, for my team, your name's going to go into a hat and we're going to pull out a winner for a blender bottle. Um, I don't know, a, a, a pack of, of breast cancer DFT, something, whatever it is that you have, $10 in credits. That's a good way to get your promoter auto ship numbers up. But again, you guys, you, you have to remember, if you have a promoter on your downline, you're their customer service too, right? They signed up under you, maybe not directly, but they're under you. They look to you for support. You make money off of them. So again, reach out and do things like that to help sweeten the deal for them. Um, so that was just something I wanted to make sure I threw out tonight because I just, I know for me personally in my first three years as a promoter, I was so focused on filling up that wheel, you know, for whatever it was I was trying to qualify for, that I was just out there finding new people, finding new orders, going, 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 going. And then when we would have like a, a month, I call it like a down month when we weren't qualifying for a trip or we weren't qualifying for something like that, then I would look and be like, oh, so-and-so stopped ordering. I wonder why. Well, duh, Tammy, I don't know why because you stopped talking to her and you weren't worried anymore because 
you know, she counted for your trip and you moved on with life. So um, I, I fought myself for that completely and it definitely affected my business. So I'm just throwing that out there now that if you can take just a few minutes every single week, and again, I have it on my five, four, three, two, one, by Friday, everybody gets, you know, if, if order's gone through, um, if there's something that comes out, kind of like the, how the pink ribbon came out, by Friday, I go to the post office and I take my little note cards. Um, you know, sometimes there's one, sometimes there's 15 whatever it is, but I make sure it's on my calendar and I make sure I go. And you guys, it's, it's such a little thing, but the messages that I get back from people, you would have thought I gave them like a hundred dollars, right? Because it just means so much to people to get something in the mail. That's not a bill. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to throw that out because I think that is so important. So again, when you're looking through your names for this week, who could you send a card to? Who has been auto shipping with you once, twice, 12 times? When was the last time you told them how awesome that was and how much you supported, help or appreciated them supporting your business? Um, you know, sometimes too, for people's birthdays, if I get a little behind on my schedule and I realize, oh crap, their birthday's tomorrow, I just say, you know what, I, I meant to mail, you know, I've got something in the mail for you for your birthday and I will send them out. Hope you have a blast on your birthday. Will they order blast? I don't know. Maybe. Tastes delicious. They might, but nonetheless, they're going to know I'm thinking of them. They're going to know that they're my customer and that they mean a lot to me. So I can't encourage you enough to get yourself a pack of cheap greeting cards from, I don't know, I don't know, TJ Maxx, wherever, Hobby Lobby. They've got them all over the place. Scoop them up, start mailing them out. It makes a really, really big difference in your business. Um, all right. So we've got our reach outs. We've got our follow-ups. From that, you're gonna start adding people to your lead list. You guys, when you're adding people to your lead list, that could be a new friend that you met on Facebook. That could be a new friend you met on Instagram, wherever. Um, connecting with your leader, that could be any time that you are connecting with your leader personally, or when you're connecting a customer, a potential customer with a leader. And I can't encourage you enough to put everyone that you talk to Thrive About into a group message with somebody else. You can talk to your blue in the face, but you throw in some random third party person who this customer has never met. They hop in and they say, hey, yep, I love it too. I've done it for four years. What's your biggest concern? Let's figure this out for you. And it just changes the game completely. So get out of your way, put them into three-way conversations, whether it's a phone call or a group message, whatever the heck works. I think that, um, I know on my team, we're finding group chats are far easier to get people to participate in than a telephone call, but whatever works, you know, wherever you are with your people, you'll know better. Um, and then the, the third thing, and I always put it off to the last just because it's on the right-hand side of my sheet, but it's your social media post. Um, I was listening to a podcast this week. There are so many experts that talk about social media, like so many. And you can listen to one one week, and then you can listen to one five minutes later, and you will get very different information. Um, but here's the thing. The people who follow you, who like your stuff, who comment on your stuff, they're going to see your things, right? Because you're, they like you. They're following you. There's maybe if you're on Instagram, maybe you're using a hashtag that they follow, that they like that hashtag. That's what they're interested in. Don't be afraid to make content, which is just the fancy word that they use now for making a post. Don't be afraid to make content that is totally you you know, maybe, maybe you think you're a little weird or odd, whatever. There's somebody for everybody out there, right? So don't be afraid to make what feels right to you. Be genuine with it. You don't have to, we always say, don't throw up thrive on people. Again, people smell it a mile away. You're, you, you all know we're all that way. When we get that friend request and we immediately see all the stuff that she sells and you're like, I don't know, do I want a friend or now? <laughs> like, think about that when you are out on social media but don't be afraid to make posts. I mean, there once was a time where they were like, no more than two a day. And then they were like, oh my gosh, you gotta make eight a day. Whatever. Do what feels right to you. Make sure you're showing up on social media for your job. I don't care if at night you climb in bed and you scroll for 20 minutes, if that's whatever. But when you hop on social media during the day, someplace on your 54321, you need to make sure that your time on social media is on purpose. Think about what you're typing. Think about the pictures you're using. Think about the, the um, reputation, the image that you're putting out there because you guys, you're in business. So I don't care if you wanna have your, you know, social media is my personal life. Well, no, not when you're in business, it's not. Think about what you're putting out there. You can be yourself, but remember, 
there is, uh, I mean, it's just like, I, so I used to have a gift shop. If I didn't go out and sweep the front door every day, eventually it would have got really icky out front and nobody would want to come in. So don't let that be your social media, right? Like sweep your front door every day, make sure you're replying to people's comments, make sure if people are tagging you in posts or tagging you in pictures that you have, um, there's a setting, especially in Facebook, make sure you have approval or you know that you have it set up that you have to give approval. Don't let people just start tagging you in things left and right. Um, Cause some of us have fun, crazy friends and you never know what you might get tagged in, right? <laughs> Um, so just think about that when you're doing your social media, but, but at the same time, don't overthink it. Like don't try to be so curated and so perfect. And so, I don't know, like write a daggone book with your, you know, your post. It doesn't have to be a book. It just has to be honest and genuine. And I don't know who all on here would have seen it, but a couple of weeks ago, maybe two weeks, two, three weeks ago, um, Chastity Marie did a little zoom for Lindsay for the thriving sisters group. And something she said that really made a, a difference for me was just go out there on social media and share what you know. So I actually hopped on the very next day and I did a really quick um, Facebook live about how to pick what side gig is right for you. I didn't talk about a particular product. I didn't talk about a particular company. I just gave the things that I think after four and a half years that someone should be thinking about and looking for. And I could not believe, like I, as soon as I was done, I was like, Chastity's a freaking genius because people were making comments and people were sending me private messages and they were like, oh my gosh, I shared that with my whole team. And so, you know, this whole, like I knew one person that sold beauty counter and she shared it with her entire team. So then now all those people knew who I was and, you know, had listened to me and obviously there's stuff behind me. So maybe they picked up on that. I don't know. I should probably clean that up when I do those videos. But, but my point is you don't have to go out and be an expert about Thrive. You don't have to go out and be an expert about health and wellness. Just go out and be who you are. Talk about what you know, share with people some knowledge of what you know, and they will be attracted to you. The, the right people will be attracted to you. So, um, you know, that's, to me, that was a really quick way of getting a bunch of new reach outs. When she shared it to her team and these people I never knew were liking and commenting on my video, you better bet I was adding them to my list and reaching out. And I didn't have to talk about something I didn't know. And I didn't have to be like completely uncomfortable. I just had to um, get past the nerves and like hit the live button on my computer that day and start talking. So get out of your little, your little shell. Um, and then the last thing I want to say before we hang up or hang up before we get off here really quick, I mentioned that my team is having a pink out on Tuesday. If you and your team are not having some sort of breast cancer awareness local or thrive after five or sip and, sip, sip and sample, uh, whatever you guys want to call it, if that's not happening on your team, I, I want to just tell you straight up, go schedule one for yourself. This is a huge thing that our company gets behind. This is like the biggest fundraiser that we do. You have the cutest DFTs right now to get people excited. You have tons of stories about our donations helping people with the National Breast Cancer um, Foundation. So if you don't have a pink out that you're going to attend, then I suggest you get one together and maybe Maybe you're new, maybe you live in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where everyone's from. Maybe it's a virtual pink out. Whatever the heck it is, get the word out on the street, what you do, what you love, and why LaBelle supports this so much. So with that, I hope you guys feel like you're a little bit better prepared for your week. I am going to um, ask really quick if anybody has a question or a comment. I'm looking at faces. You guys can wave me down. Anybody, anybody? Everybody's going to be really shy tonight. That's okay. All right, so remember three IMs that are helping you this week. For sure, before you close the light in your office tonight, make sure you have five names for tomorrow, written name, and five down for Tuesday, hopefully more. Um, and I would encourage you right now, even though it's really like a tomorrow activity, start reaching out to people. Um, yes, Sandra, I can. Start reaching out to people tonight about their auto ships coming out on the 15th because you don't want to dilly dally on that. Um, if nothing else, this is the perfect time for them to go in and take out their their blue ultras and put in pink ribbon DFTs, right? So, all right. Thanks guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Stop recording. Hmm.